to multiply times zero. Where did it go? Where did it go? I must have multiplied times zero. If you want to make a number turn to zero, look here. Multiply times zero. I know it sounds weird, but the zero property is something you should know. When the factor's times zero, there's only zero left to show. Zero times any number, no matter where you go. The answer, the product, is always zero. Where did it go? Where did it go? I must have multiplied times zero. Where did it go? Where did it go? I must have multiplied times zero. Zero is zero times five. Eight times zero is zero. Zero is three times zero. Six times zero is zero. Zero is zero times two. Four times zero is zero. Zero is seven times zero. And nine times zero is zero. Where did it go? Where did it go? I must have multiplied times zero. Where did it go? Where did it go? I must have multiplied times zero. Here's another idea that will help you ace the test. The identity property will help you be your best. Multiply any number times one and it'll stay the same. That factor is the product, the answer in the identity game. When you multiply times one, that factor stays the same. The factor of one, the answer is the other factor. Let me show you some. One times one is one. Three is one times three. Five times one is five. Eight is eight times one. Four times one is four. Nine is one times nine. One times seven is seven. Two is two times one, and six times one is six. When you multiply times one, that factor stays the same. The factor of one, the answer is the other factor. Let me show you some. When you multiply times one, that factor stays the same. The factor of one, the answer is the other factor. Let me show you some. When you multiply times one, that factor...